Hi everyone, it's Tish with Naptime Creations. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. It's free and it'll help me out a lot. So hit that subscribe button. Here's a sneak peek of what we're going to be making today. We're going to be making some holographic resin earrings and a holographic keychain. So let's jump in and get started. I'm going to be using this Vivid Hollow and Onyx from Island Micas and More. I'll link it down below. She has a ton of different colors available and it comes with the, this application brush right here. So all you do is just dip that brush right into the pot of holographic powder and then brush it into your mold. And make sure you get the sides of your mold as well. And then you wanna make sure you get good coverage all over your mold. You wanna make sure everything has a nice good coat of the hollow powder. And I'm going to do the same process for all of my molds, just going in and brushing this hollow powder all over the mold. Um, but I'm only going to do the butterfly earrings on camera because I don't want to bore you guys to death. It's so easy to do, um, but the one tip I have is just make sure that everything is covered because if it's not covered then you'll have a bare spot and you don't want that so it's better to have more than less so i tend to add a little bit more than you might need but that's just so i can make sure that everything is nice and covered 100 percent inside the mold and after i get this all finished we're going to go in with some black tinted resin and fill up the molds and I went ahead and mixed up my resin off camera just to save time. But if you're new to resin and you want to see a tutorial showing step by step how to mix your resin, I will link my Milky Way coaster tutorial down below in the description box. Be sure to go check it out. I show you step by step how to mix your resin. And the coasters turned out really pretty too. So here we are. I'm going to use Midnight Black Epoxy Paste from Laura's Art Corner. I have not even... I would say maybe an ounce of resin in my cup here and I added about half of a pea size amount of my epoxy paste to my resin here. I'm stirring that in and just making sure it's 100% mixed and then we're going to go in and fill up our molds. When I use um, these molds I like to use a paper cup because you can pinch the side and get a really nice controlled pour. A silicone cup with a spout would work really well for this too. And you want to make sure you don't overfill these molds. Um, it's okay if you do overfill them, but it does get kind of messy if you do overfill them. So I like to kind of underfill them, wait for the resin to kind of settle and self-level a bit, and then fill them up a little bit more if I needed to. And surprisingly, this keychain mold is the one that takes the most resin out of all of them. Um, the earrings don't take much resin at all. And for these, I'm using Unicone Art Resin. Um, I get it off Amazon. It works really good for projects like this. It's a one-to-one -one ratio, and it doesn't have a lot of bubbles. So it's really good for jewelry and um, applications like this. I'm just filling the molds up a little bit more because I had underfilled this one. And the little um, loop on the keychain, I kind of just spread it apart so the resin could flow down in there. I'm just taking my gloved finger and kind of cleaning up around the cavities of the molds, then that's it. I'm gonna cover them up with upside down storage container so no dust gets in them and let them dry for 24 hours. Here we are the next day, ready to demold them. Check out how pretty they turned out. I just love that holographic powder from Island Micas and More. And they're not super expensive, which is nice. I wanna say they're $6 for the jar of it, and it'll last you a really long time. I'll be sure to link it down below. And these teardrop earrings turned out perfect. I just love how, depending on the lighting, it looks like a rainbow or black, it's super sparkly and beautiful. The keychain turned out really nice too. And I got these molds from a mold maker on Instagram. I will link her website down below in the description box as well if you guys wanna get any of these molds. I just love the sides of this keychain. It's so pretty. I've demolded these around 18 hours, so they were still a little bit bendy, but just let them sit for a day and then they'll fully harden. And I'm going to attach the hardware. Um, I got these little earring cards and I had a stamp made. 
And these little earring cards I got off Amazon. They come with these bags, which is nice. So once you have your earrings all assembled, you just put them on the card and in the bag. So I took a small jump ring, a large jump ring, and earring hooks, attached them to the earrings. So I did a large one at the bottom, or at the base, or at the tip of the earring, of small jump ring, and then attached the earring hook to the small jump ring. And here's how they turned out. I just love these teardrop ones. The keychain turned out really pretty too. And the butterflies, of course, are probably my favorite of them all. Let me know which one's your favorite down in the comments. And I'm going to be listing some more butterfly earrings. Um, this set sold already, but I'm going to be listing some more butterfly earrings in my Etsy shop um, really soon. So make sure you check out my Etsy shop and leave it a favorite so you're notified when I post my creations for sale. I'll link it down below in the description box. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you did, leave me a like. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And go check out a few more of my other videos. That would really help me out a lot. I'll leave a few of my favorite videos right here. Just click the picture and it'll take you straight to the video and you can go check it out. Thanks again for watching. I hope you guys are all doing fantastic and I will see you soon for another video. Bye guys.